Hi everyone, this is Jessica with Hometown Hybrids. In this video, we're going to discuss the diagnostic trouble codes P3190, P3191, and P0A0F. These codes are honestly our least favorite ones to come across because they can be really challenging to get to the bottom of. Maybe once a week or so, we get a call from a hybrid owner who has one of these three engine codes and has been told by a dealership or a shop that the hybrid battery is the culprit. While it is possible that the hybrid battery has failed, it may be due to the fact that there's a problem in the engine and the battery can't charge properly. Hybrid battery failure on its own will not cause these codes. Toyota's own repair manual confirms this. Here are the possible trouble areas for these engine codes as listed by Toyota. If you replace a hybrid battery before addressing the engine problems, you're putting it at risk. I really wish I could tell you exactly which one of these has caused your own engine to fail, but the diagnostic process is pretty involved and is going to require some in-shop time. What I can tell you is that it is very important to limit the number of times you try to start the vehicle during diagnosis and repair. Every time the engine tries to start, the hybrid battery is drained about 1%. In order to protect the battery, the vehicle's hybrid computer will eventually prevent further attempts to turn over the engine. This is a serious issue. There is no quick and simple way to recharge the hybrid battery without a properly working engine. If your engine fails while driving, the car will run on the battery alone so that you can safely pull off the road. Most people don't even realize that this is happening though, so they end up driving until the battery is almost depleted. If this scenario happens, you can get battery failure codes, but they may go away on their own once the engine problem is addressed. One of the first things I recommend checking is the mass airflow sensor. We've seen a fair amount of engine problems solved by simply cleaning it. It's something you can do at home and just takes a few minutes. See our description below for a video link on how to clean the mass airflow sensor. So to recap everything, if you have codes P3190, P3191, or P0A0F, it is not your battery's fault, but it may cause your battery to fail. Use our list of potential trouble areas to address the engine codes first. Limit the amount of start attempts while diagnosing and repairing your car. It is possible for certain battery codes to resolve on their own once the engine is running properly. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email to sales at hometownhybrids.com. Thank you.